Hello all, welcome to my channel on Android. Today I will demonstrate you the concept of gradients in Android. So let's start with developing a project. First of all, you can click on start new Android studio project. Then you can choose the empty activity and then you can click on next. In very next uh, screen, you can give the name of your application. Here I am giving the name of the application that is gradient demo. You can choose the language. I am choosing the language that is Kotlin. Gradient. What gradient means? Here uh, in Android, you can create the gradient of the colors using different gradient classes like linear gradient, radial gradient and sweep gradient. All gradients need at least two colors. One is the start color and another one is the end color. It may contain uh, any number of colors in array gradient can be set to mirror and repeat as and when it is necessary uh, paint gradient can be set using the uh, set shader function uh, basically there are two ways to create the gradient one is by calling the xml another is by calling the uh, <coughs> programmatically another you can do right so right now i am demonstrating you the concept of programmatically how to set the gradient very simple uh, let me start with developing the concept of gradient let's start with linear gradient first here uh, what happens whenever you execute your application this design view will be launched why because uh, this this name uh, uh, this design name is activity underscore main dot xml and my content view is set to activity uh, underscore main i don't want to load this I want to generate my own content view right so I am uh, here here I am calling the set content view and I, I will not now uh, call the activity main but I will call now the class that is test obviously I need to create the class that is test here in test you can pass the current context now I need to create the class so you can simple uh, create the class that is a inner class test here in inner class you can uh, take the input of the context uh, so right now i am writing here context context and that you can pass into view why because we want to generate our own view so here in view you can pass your context that you had taken from the user this uh, <coughs> every um, uh, view class having one method and that method name is on draw here in on draw uh, you will get the object of canvas and using canvas you can draw the circle you can draw the rectangle and whatever you want to do you can do here in canvas right now i am initializing the variable of paint so i'm just writing here variable p is equal to paint and here you can set a uh, paint dot anti alias flag what it will do uh, it will uh, smooth value uh, smooth uh, uh, look about your uh, objects and shape will be uh, displayed by calling this so uh, I'm just initializing the same now it's a time to define the linear gradient linear gradient means uh, you can define an angle uh, you can define the x0 and y0 x1 and y1 based on this you can define the color and you can just set that which type of tile mode you want to use so let's create lg is equal to linear gradient is the class you, uh, this is available in android graphics package here you can press ctrl p and it will give you the parameter list x0 and y0 it means uh, on which coordinate you want to display let's start from uh, 0f 0f it means uh, it will begin from the uh, top left corner to i want that x1 y1 that is the definitely the second coordinate so i am just uh, giving the uh, uh, 45 angle right this is the degree so uh, where up to which point you want to co cover this then you can define the int array you can define the long array or you can define the two color that is the start color and and color i am using only two color over here one is color dot here you can define the color dot red and color dot black i am using the start color and end color that is color dot red and color dot black uh, now you can define the uh, 
shader mode shader mode uh, here you can set the uh, repeat mode or you can set the mirror mode i am using the shader dot tile mode dot uh, i am using the mirror mode once you define with this here you can just check what happened with this see here 45 f you need to use you, here you need to write the 45 f then your linear gradient will be ready now you can assign this shade to your paint and you, then you can draw the circle so i am just calling the p dot shader here in p dot shader you can just assign p dot shader is equal to my linear gradient and then uh, simple you can draw the circle rectangle that whatever you want by calling the canvas function i i want to draw the circle whenever you are drawing the circle you need a three parameters basically one is x y and radius so i am using the x that is zero y that is also zero f and i want to draw the circle of uh, uh, here you can define the radius so i want to draw the circle of 200 right so i'm just writing here 200 app and here you can define your shader uh, let me define the x and y that is also 200 if you make it 200 then what happened uh, it will uh, put the spaces on x axis and y axis uh, for 200 and then uh, you are drawing the radius of that particular circle what happens see instead of content view so i am not uh, going to display any hello world over here now i am just calling the set content view that is my own view and here in my own view i am calling the on draw function and on draw i am calling the linear gradient linear, linear gradient contains the angle colors and the mode that you want that said i am uh, defining to the paint and then I'm just drawing the circle. Let's see. See what happened here. Uh, y is uh, y is 200 over here and X is 200 over here. Then after over here, uh, radius of 200 draws a one circle. This red and black that is the linear gradient linear gradient line. So I'm using the gradient. Obviously, uh, I used the mirror mode but not only this android supports the another two gradients you can also create a radial gradient radial gradient is what that needs a uh, definitely the circle inside circle you can say right so uh, definitely we need here also uh, radius x and y coordinate so let's start with the radial gradient here you can just uh, create an instance of radial gradient radial gradient is the class which needs x y radius and then you can define the colors so very simple uh, right now i am uh, just providing the x that is 200 f y uh, i want a 650 f and then you can uh, define the radius that is for example 200 f and then you can define the start color and end color now i am using the color dot green then you can define the second color that is the end color so i'm just giving the color dot black then you can define the shader mode right so i'm just using the shader mode that is a shader dot tile mode dot i'm using the mirror once it uh, radial gradient is done now you can assign the same shade to your shader so you can just write p dot set shader is equal to p dot shader is equal to radial gradient so now your radial gradient will be assigned to your paint now we will draw one more circle canvas dot draw circle and now you can define the x and y coordinate we will put the x coordinate as the same as we did earlier but now we will change the y coordinate why because we, i want the circle below circle so i am just putting here 650 f that is my another circle and here you can put the radius and here you can put the paint uh, it means which uh, sliding effect you want over here in your application so very simple you can execute over here 
the first circle will be of linear gradient and another circle will be of that is radial gradient suppose if you think that i want to change here in my uh, this code and if you want to change and uh, if you want that my radial gradient uh, uh, radius should be uh, different than my actual draw circle so you can do like also and see the effect of this this is the way you can uh, define and you can put your values i am here putting the 200 now last one that is the sweep gradient sweep gradient is means what uh, i want the collection of the colors uh, you can say that the that uh, uh, it will be look like a rainbow right so uh, let's define the sweep gradient so here you can just call sg is equal to sweep gradient here in sweep gradient you need a parameters what x y coordinate and then you need the colors of array here in colors array you can define all the colors that you like and from the position it will be start all the colors and it will be displayed over here right so very simple over here uh, you can just start and um, you can define the x and y coordinate i am just writing here 200 f and here now my y will be changed uh, 1100 f why because i want to put again my circle below the circle so last circle will be related to the uh, sweep gradient so here you can define like this now we need int array so here uh, uh, int array is the where args parameter and here in where args parameter the n number of uh, uh, colors that you want to put over here that you can but i will put here few colors color dot red color dot green color dot red green now i am uh, adding the color dot gray then you can define the color dot yellow then you can define the color dot blue and finally i want the last color that is color dot black once you put all this color over here now you need to define the position if you are not defining the position then uh, it will be uh, arranged in the order that you specified now i want that p dot shader is equal to now i want to change my shade of paint so i am just giving the sweep gradient to my paint right and now let's draw a circle so you can just call canvas dot draw circle and here you can define the x y radius and paint x will be the same why because i want the same circle uh, below the about two circle of linear gradient and radial gradient so i i need to change my y so i will just make it here 1100 f and then you can define your radius that is 200 f and then you can define your paint uh one error is showing over here just because of i need to add here f y because it is a float whenever you execute this what happened the first circle will be related to linear gradient second circle will be related to radial and the third one is a sweep gradient c my colors are starting from red green uh, all the colors gray yellow blue and black all the colors are arranged over here this concept is known as a radial gradient it is again a collection of uh, very simple it is a collection of the colors so uh, you can create the gradients in uh, android by calling the programming way or by calling the xml way this is the use of gradient by calling the programming you can also you will definitely get the more videos or uh, on gradient on xml also gradient need at least two color one is start color another one is end color it might contain another color also gradient can be set to mirror and repeat as and when necessary it is required so basically there are three types of gradient available in android one is linear gradient another is radial gradient and sweep gradient that's it from my side. Thank you for listening to me. If you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all.